Hi everyone, as you can see I am finally reacting to I Told Sunset About You. When I did my top 10 BLs of 2020, a lot of people put this as their number one and recommended it to me quite a lot, including on other reactions that I had. And all I hear is really, really good things about it. And especially coming from my standpoint, where I probably will be looking at how it's shot visually, what went on maybe for the actors, as well as the acting. I'm really looking forward to this. This is probably one of the shows that I really wish I could put on YouTube. Be but it is just for you people on Patreon. So I hope you enjoy this. It's exclusively only for Patreon. And we're going to get straight into it. So does he have Chinese heritage? Because he's playing Chinese language. Okay. And he's wearing traditional clothing as well. I like that he gave, came in traditional garments that actually really makes you feel something. What will you say? Thank you. That's actually a really nice thing to say. Oh, she's not so happy. เขาไม่ยืนอยู่ตรงหน้าเราตอนนี้เรามีอะไรอยากจะพูดกับเขาไหมเราลองหลับตาแล้วเห็นภาพเขาให้ชัดก่อนเลยก็ได้ค่ะ
เป็นพระเอกแล้วบอกกูด้วยนะกูรอดู He's the only one who stood by him. They're so young to know that already. I mean, I've known my dreams since I was three. <laughs> So they've always had that connection. They obviously fall out. I can tell by the way this is going. Uh oh, is this going to cause friction between them? So this is what caused the rift. But jealousy will seep in because it, it's his dream, and they are young. It's different, I think, when you're a lot older. Okay. Is it? Oh, I hope it goes well. I get this feeling that it's not, especially considering he doesn't speak Chinese. Oh, eh? Tear. Oh. Well, yes, it's his favorite show. How did he know how to say that so easily? I oh, no. uh, yeah, I get it. I'm one of the these people that kind of gets uncomfortable with secondhand embarrassment just in case it doesn't turn out right. It makes me very uncomfortable. Uh-oh. Why did that happen? Who did that? Uh, one of the actor's worst nightmares is to forget your lines. Oh. 
精神水泳。Many, many an actor will forget their lines. It's how you pick yourself up. I wonder what drew them apart. Because he was okay with him. He's doing the whole scene behind. Swear in these all the time. Only though. Oh, wait, and that's what he loves to do. So it's going to be a competition between them. But he feels betrayed. Ah, oh, but it, it is acting. A lot of people want to become actors. But he didn't though, because he, he she cast him. But you weren't chosen. Uh oh. Yeah, he's getting jealous here. No. Hey, hey, that's not nice. This is why you don't tell people any of your secrets. This is why you don't trust anyone 100%. It's the music and the dramatic nature of this part. It feels like they're living out their own drama. Not after you said that. Why does someone keep throwing firecrackers everywhere? It's a sidecar. Is he waiting for a taxi? Oh, he's waiting for his brother. <laughs> what is wrong with the sidecar? Just take it. Then again, he is young. He gets embarrassed probably very easily. Oh, uh, he had lessons. The girl sleep. I feel like she's going to be a, maybe an important factor. Maybe his best friend here. He's so evil for doing that to her. Oh, 
้ามึงอยู่เชือนมากเลยอ่ะไม่นอนกี่ชั่วโมงเลยสามชั่วโมงเลย Why? What was you doing that you couldn't get any sleep? Oh, does she want to be an artist, like a, a painter? Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. เอาเหล่าเล้าบอกว่าเดี๋ยวให้คำตอบนั่งตอบติดอยากแทบป่ะยังไม่อยากกูกระตุ้น That's not a no by the way That's more or less saying Let me pass and then I'll date you Because obviously more stress when you date someone Especially their age แต่ว่ากูจีบมาสองปีแล้วนะ Two years แล้วทำทุ่งเทของกูบ้าง Yeah I mean damn ตอนนี้ห้ามเบี้ยวนะเออถ้ามึงรอกูไม่ไหวอ่ะในระหว่างนี้ถ้ามึงเจอใครใหม่ที่ดีกว่ากูก็ไปได้นะกูไม่อยาก Who says it's gonna be a her? Just so you know, it's gonna be a he. แล้วมึงชอบกูอยู่ปะล่ะ Yeah, she likes you. กูจะรอ So I I imagine she's not her fault, but she's gonna be part of the conflict. I'm guessing he's gonna have a girlfriend. There's stuff that's gonna happen. I do love how this is shot, though. This just feels very realistic. No over-the-top big houses, big schools where everyone has money. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hasn't seen him for years, and they probably won't get on at first, because that's just how the story goes. <laughs> oh, look at—he's still got his blonde hair. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been since he saw them. Okay, so he's not good at the other subjects. I like how they know who he's looking for straight away. I feel like everyone knows, even if it's not a romantic connection, there is some form of connection between those two, even if it's a rivalry. <laughs> nice little bit of music for the tension. Yeah, there is not a friendship between these two. Is one of them gonna get in and one isn't, and it's gonna cause even more friction?
Oh no. More of a rivalry again. It's strange, one feels like they're competing with the other and the other feels like he kind of misses the friendship. They're very good with their subtle ways of making them look at one another. You see? Twenty-nine out of thirty, okay. But how did the other one do? And I guess a bit confused and I hear O A and O R. So I I don't want to say the name wrong like I'm probably gonna do the whole reaction. Oh he got nine? Don't do that. Yeah, why are you looking at his work? Ugh. See, I thought he might have been a bit nicer, but the arrogance that is exuzante is showing through now. But 9 out of 30 is not good. So now I know which one of them is probably going to get in and which one isn't. Because he's happy about the score. Yes, ถ้ากูเปิดมันไม่เปิดนะกูสายใจมากเยสเวอร์ไม่ว่าจะสอบรอบไหนอ่ะสุดท้ายก็เล่นตาแสดงกันนั่นแหละมึงก็คิดซะ
it's the music that accompanies it. There, look, because you look like that one famous actor, and obviously he wants to be an actor too, and it's playing on his mind. You're still looking at the picture. He does that a lot, and he looks at himself in a certain way in reflections. <laughs> Must be nice to have nice hair. What do you want? Right, because he's not going to be suspicious of the way you're acting. So he's a coach driver then. Yeah, make sure he's gone. <laughs> He wants to try a different hairstyle. He does actually look quite nice like that. Uh, okay, so now you're imitating the other guy. He's always late. How, as an actor, are you going to do this? If you're always late, you're never going to make it on set. They're going to hate you for it. He looks straight for him as well. <laughs> They're both handsome men anyway. Instead of each other, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot they needed it exactly like that. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> I'm glad one of their friends picked up on it. <laughs> No, don't do that. Yeah, you just caused even more friction. <laughs> He's so insecure. Okay. 
You've always had a problem with him. Yeah, you should have been. Ex Ugh, I'm not liking his character right now. See you. You have no right to do that. That was really nasty. And none of you are reprimanding him. You should be saying something to him. That was disgusting. Yeah, just leave him. I'd say you didn't need to do that. It's not your place to be putting his business out there. I don't get why the friend seems angry at all. Um, what Tay did was... Yeah, yeah, not nice. At all. You can see he struggled to want to be his friend. How old are you? Aren't you in 10th grade and you're driving? What's the age of driving there? 17? Is he going to try and kiss him? <laughs> Are you hitting on him? Is one of them going to lean over and kiss the other? Is this kind of exploring their sexuality and who they are? Oh, the dad's not alive, right? Because he's not there. Yeah. It's sad as well because that's weird I always start with my left foot but that's because I'm left-handed and for some reason my mind goes to do that first it would be a shock if he doesn't get it seeing as he is one of the top students No, I'm nervous for him now. Do you know what? If it's gonna bring you luck, maybe just yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, just your luck that that happens. <laughs> Their acting is really nice, especially the actor who plays Tay. Just it's the way he looks at oh. I can't explain it, it's very hard, it's not an obvious loss, it's not an anger, it's it's almost 
reminiscent about their friendship. Yeah, it's a very important thing for both of them. Things like this always make me sad when like, you don't get in because you do feel like you've just failed. So that means, oh, didn't get in. Yeah, look, number one. He didn't even get into it here. Yeah, that's not the one per that's the one person I would not want to see at this moment. It's not just that I hate the idea of someone, t I hate when someone tells you to give up on your dreams because it's not fears of war or come and just work for us. You should, I hate people who put someone down about their dreams. You should never, at whatever age you are, give up on a dream. This is just one minor setback for him. Happy now? Their acting is so good. And I know this is just one stage of their life and it's now it will go beyond school time and it will go to university and probably adulthood. He's got to tell his mom now he didn't get in. He can't be with his friends knowing you got in and he didn't. It's not. He doesn't want. Yeah. They miss each other so much as friends, you can tell. I mean, they did say earlier on that this was their favourite place to kind of go to. And obviously, it's, it's their reprieve from wow. everything in life. Well, that was a nice camera work there.
Say thank you. Even if you don't like him, say thank you. You really don't. I know the directors asked them to flare their nostrils I've seen behind the scenes. Yeah, that was not a nice thing to say at all. I hate people who lord stuff like that over others. Not everyone is a scholastic. Academia isn't for everyone. Can't can't because he said it. He misses you. It's something about this that there's drama, but it doesn't feel overdone. It feels very authentic. These poor actors must have been exhausted. I mean, it's years of a friendship they lost. They're always seeking one another out in some way, especially Tay. Must be nice. I can't explain the tension, it's, it's just done so well. Because he thought you were rivals. And he was upset. But really and truly, it was Tay who had the, the problem more, it seems. Does he, you know, they think about each other. Oh I wonder if the next episode we see more of Oh's life and his progression through life because this definitely oh, was Tim. Are they gonna cry again? I 
รือแดดมีบ้านบูมันช่งโอเคนั่นคือ different reaction than I thought he was hoping for Yeah, there's a lot that's gone on, and also I we know they develop a bit more than just you know a friendship. Yeah, that hurt. Because it was something he told him in private. Social media. I wish I was better at it, and people were interested. I yeah, both ways. He just doesn't know it. But you never know down the line. It's strange because they're all celebrating. He can't because he didn't get in. I think forget this. They're all happy to get into. Their their places, but he has to kind of. I hope he gets in from the admissions. Admissions, I should say. This is why he got in. Real raw emotion and passion. Uh, he had a phone in his hand for the first picture. Just saying. So you got it really early. They don't even know. That's actually really nice. Kuk 
ูมันเปียกอ่ะอ he's trying he's trying here ให้หมดเลยเออกูเอามาให้มึงดูผู้ชายนะกูอยากให้มึง he's trying very hard for him ก็หลังจากนี้กูคงว่างยาวละให้กูติวจีนให้ไหมฮะเออเอานะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวไปแล้วก็ไปเลยเดินบาสเกต30เอาที่30เฮ้ยมาทำไมมึงว่าไอ้ผู้ชายที่ฉันชอบในนี้คือ The realistic nature and how it felt. I didn't feel like they oversaturated it with too much light and too much brightness, or tried to make it too dark to fit the theme. It genuinely felt like a real-life scenario. You know, no one was in an extravagant house, or drove an extravagant car, or needed to have like an eight-pack and look like they just stepped off a runway. They looked like real people going through real situations. They felt like kids in these moments. Trying to at this point be rivals still, and then realizing the hurt it causes, and maybe they can finally let go because you know they're going to university, they're growing up, they're not children, they're becoming young adults, and that's something I really appreciate with this uh, episode. Is it just felt real? It just felt like an actual telling of a story, and I just was not bored. It's over an hour. And it still works for everything that's going on because it's building up for the other episodes. I know there's only five, so I'm guessing O and Bass become an item, or there's at least an attraction between them. We've seen it, and then for Tay and the girl, something I'm guessing may happen between them by the looks of it. And I'm wondering if this show goes through a certain period in their life, from them to a certain age, knowing that they. Pushed against one another, kind of helped them to get where they are now, but it's always caused a rift. I love the way it was shot, uh, the, the use of so many different ranges from mid-range, long-range, overview, two-point view, POV, flashbacks, uh, close-ups, medium close-ups, bird shot, bird eye views. You know, any use that you can really find for. How to create a scene? They cry a lot. I will say that uh, there's a lot of tears from them. They seem to get very emotional and cry when they're looking at one another. And what was really interesting was Tay still seeks O out. He looks at his Instagram to copy him. He strives to beat him, even just via the rival means, because obviously that's a big part of what it was was this rivalry. But it was him missing him. And it was him trying to get one up on him, but to get noticed, even if he didn't realize what he was doing at points. But also, he seems like he talks about oh a lot, a lot. And I do think what he said to him at points was not nice. And it was those things, that, and I understand it. You know, it's just those moments where you say something hurtful, and he realizes. But it, it, what was nice as well with those, they did. See, this is where you can do long scenes where you don't need ad lib, and it's just emotion. It's raw and it works because what you've got is you've got the music score, you've got their reactions, the actors, the little ways, the way they move their face, the way they look at one another. It tells a story without them needing to say anything, and that's beautiful from both of them. It really, truly highlights how good of an an actor both of them are, and their friendship group. Is still there years later. Even if they weren't speaking, they still had some groups. And also, what I really liked was you got to see that, you know, the distance, like them traveling, like one going to the resort, one traveling there, and how much time it takes to get to school or to go wherever they are. And something that really Tay needs to look out for is this lateness. As an actor, you can't be late. If you're late to set, that's it. Trust me when I say, if you're late to set. They won't. They you won't be hired anymore because 
people won't be able to trust you. There's a thing about time. Time costs money for actors. And going because he's going into performing arts, something I could relate to, I could talk about that. You can't be late. If you're on set and you're late, you know, just a five minutes late can cost thousands. And I mean thousands upon thousands. If you miss a whole day, you cost hundreds of thousands, especially if it's a big show. But I'm really looking forward to what happening in their next stage of their life because it looks like their friendship is starting to repair itself and it's something that has taken years but needs to happen but it's whatever obstacles come in this way I, I think in the second episode is where maybe attraction starts to develop between them because there's only five episodes you need to work on that so I don't know if anything will happen between them in the second episode but at least the attraction will build we've already seen from O that he likes at least he has attraction to men and with Tay, he has an attraction to O. That's obvious for us, but not for him. And it would be nice to see if the two train happens in if O gets in via the admissions exam and from that something develops from them. But also there's other characters. There's so many layers to everyone in this show. They, these characters are not one dimensional. There's so much for us to pick apart about them. And not just them, but the characters around them. Because they notice things and what I love is they allowed us the audience to see them noticing these things and let them have moments where we're like oh we maybe be able to relate to this character we understand and I thought it was sad as well that they showed life moves on in that sense what I mean is I did it I was there a dad I feel like they showed that the dad died um and your life continues on but maybe now it's time for these two to at least help each other as friends and if something develops something develops thank you for watching that was episode one and i will be back soon with episode two